Hello, and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 5, going to be doing some racing with... I guess what is probably the longest vehicle in the game. We don't have the Cadillac limo anymore. So the big old Ford Super Duty F450 DRW Platinum, probably the longest, one of the longest names of cars, trucks, in the game. You're going to go racing with... Uh, with this. We're starting off driving them stock. So they're towards the top of D-Class. Uh, I mean, it's got a thousand torque and, was it, 475 horsepower. The engine from this actually does get swapped into quite a lot of American vehicles, especially classic American cars. Uh, so there's a lot of a lot of vehicles actually get diesel engines now, which is kind of fun. Uh, we're, there'll probably be stuff done with that at some point in the future. For now, though, uh, yeah, we are just driving these vehicles uh, stock. Gonna do some racing, see how it goes. I mean, often racing with silly cars... Oh, Gets good results, lots of understeer, and everyone's going to bounce off of the wall. Uh, okay, I've not got that right. Oh, we're going to get squeezed through there. We're going up in front of Stevie. Not what Stevie was going to want, although no one's carrying great momentum down here. I feel like it's going to be difficult to work your way up through the fields here somehow. Uh, do we have a look to the inside? Not going to be space. I mean, there's just a lot of metal in front of us. Uh, it's fine. They're going to go three wide. This is definitely not going to work. Um... Uh, where, I mean, I, <laughs> I want, I've got, well, I mean, I, I would kind of like to have a good run through here. I don't know how we're going to make it through the pack at this point. We're essentially, I think, going to be waiting for mistakes uh, from vehicles up ahead. Can I have a look to the inside of a Chris down here? I mean, it's going to be on such a tight angle into this corner. This is always the difficulty with one make racing is we've just got a horde of vehicles. I mean, it's... <laughs> it's three by three by three. It looks like Talladega almost going on. And we are up to 10th. We've made a couple of places on this lap. We've got a good run up here. Uh, but I don't know where I'm going to go with it all. Hyper leads in the purple truck. I mean, there's a little tapping on the brake from vehicles. We're going to get to the inside of a pink truck. We will be past that. Can we? I mean, we've got a big run on a Lado down here. Uh, can we get past? Oh, no. No, we cannot. No. <laughs> We might end up losing a position here as well. Uh, we do not in the end. Yeah, we were trying to be sneaky. We're trying to sort of follow you and through on that one. We might still get to the inside here. If Lado brushes the wall, that truck will be slow off the corner. And we'll be able to get to the inside. We will dive uh, and hopefully get the place. We're a little wide on the exit. Lado's going to try and fight back on the outside. He's going to probably struggle to make that run work. We are clear and we are ahead of the blue machine, only just though. Uh, that's a little too much speed down there. I followed you and Chris got way better line through all of that. That was a line I wanted to. We were so busy fighting with a ladder, although now Chris has got stuck on the outside, doesn't realise the uh, yellow Tonka truck is to the inside. And it's going to give us a helping hand. So I've got a kitten on my desk. Why are you laid on the desk? You're not allowed to lay on the desk. Can't do anything about him at the moment. He's just gradually trying to knock stuff off the desk. If you hear a clatter, that's what it is. Uh, we've pulled a gap now, so we can kind of focus on trying to find a way past you. And I mean, these things are very sort of momentum-y based. If you lose a little bit of speed like Ewan has here, for example, you're in a lot of trouble. But that is quite common with sort of D-class vehicles, regardless of what, what you're driving. Because, I mean, in this case, it's not the lack of power, it's just the weight. There's so much... The power-to-weight ratio is poor in this because the truck's so heavy. So, yeah, we, we don't have... The ability to accelerate away out of the corners quite as well. The racing has been good so far. Uh, oh, God, we're all going to get stacked up. And Peg has got to the lead of the race. Uh, we're going to clock the wall there. We have not got that line through there right whatsoever. Blakey's up to second. If you can get into clean air, it makes a big difference with these. And Peg has pulled a huge lead at the moment. Don't brush that wall. If we can help it, it's side by side towards this final corner. Hyper's in trouble out wide there. Uh, we're going to oh, get around you, and Ewan was just slow and caught in the middle of all of that. We will run ourselves up into seventh. Okay, well, I'm pleased with us. Uh, there's only so much we can do from the back of the grid in identical vehicles and very big vehicles that are difficult to pass in. So if we can make up a couple more positions by the end of this race, I'd be really happy. And if they fight each other too hard here, uh, we could well do that. Hyper's just out of position. And once you're out of position for one corner, you're out of position for the next. You're just slow. I think we're going to bounce the wall there. Uh, we are going to get the run, and that will move us up into a sick place now. Uh, Danger Man's going to tap the wall as well through all of that. Oh, come on. Come on. 
Tonka truck. We can maybe... He's ambitious to get many more places before the end of this race, but you never know. That will roll in through here. Maybe a little too quick. I feel like maybe focusing on getting the exit here is more important than speed on the way in. Uh, I mean, it's good for overtaking carrying a load of speed into a corner. However, in that instance, I think I would have been better off focusing speed on the exit. All three of us there have done exactly the same, and I'm pretty sure Hyper followed me as well. We're all just trying to get on the throttle that little bit earlier or not lift as much. A danger man's gone wide there. It's going to be slow on the exit. I mean, we're closer than we were last lap around. Is it close enough? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we will see if we can do anything for fifth. Fifth is really, unless there's any missed checkpoints, fifth is as far up this field as we are going to go. Let's see, I like to be early on the brakes through here. I feel like it's the way to go. It is. Danger man is going to be slow on the exit, but where do we go here? This is really only a single line through this section. Uh, we're tr I'm trying to make just any slightly different positioning I can do to Danger Man, but I'm not going to be close enough. Carries enough speed through here. We're going to try and get a good run. Danger Man is going to move across. Okay, so... Oh, well, I was going to go for early on the brakes and try and get a good exit strategy, but it hasn't really worked. Oh, and we hit the stones on the inside. Yeah, I was trying to duck underneath, but there is some street furniture, some rocks on the inside. I didn't really see because my truck's huge. Uh, Danger Man is actually going to clomp the wall, though. You're never going to be able to move across in time there. We've got way too big of a run for that. And we're going to dive to the inside. And that will be the position. Oh, it's three wide. The finish line up ahead. I think Blakey might have held on to second, you know. We will cross the finish line and take the fifth place. I think it was in the end. That was a good race. I'm pleased with my progress through the field. All things in it. will get fastest lap running around the front on, on the... If you can get clear in those sort of vehicles, bloody hell. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's good. Blakey gets second ahead of Gliska and Longbow. Their finishing positions were close, to say the least. Uh, yeah, we just outran uh, Danger Man to the line there. That was a good race. I mean, as ever, the fail race... Uh, <laughs> silly liveries. The, the fail race expectations, sillier vehicle, good racing. Definitely, definitely worked. We are heading off road for our second race with the trucks. They're still in their standard spec. Uh, we are going to the river scramble. I'm middle of the pack this time around. I mean, if we can get, as ever, if you can get away cleanly, if you can stay out of trouble at the start, and you can try and build a gap somewhere, that is always helpful. I'm not necessarily expecting that to work but we're gonna try <laughs> it's, it's with the size of these vehicles I think you just get caught up it's really easy just to get stuck in these massive massive fights and not make as much progress as you'd like we shall see uh, let's get it through the gears off the line we definitely don't want to slip a back in this one if we can help it. Now this is the track that I did the rally tyre investigation around. It's a fun circuit this one actually. I don't know whether the trucks are going to get airtime. I'm kind of hoping they will but uh, yeah, who knows on this. Oh, should have been a little earlier on the brakes. Everyone's struggling to get stopped though through there. Uh, I might be in the best position for this corner to get the exit. Gliska's in an even better position. Uh, yeah, We can all make funny sounds with the horns. Stevie's got a crap ton of understeer. He's going to get stuck out wide. Uh, I do not want Chris to come out of ghost mode. Oh, Chris is out of ghost mode on their screen, not on my screen. I apologise if I push you out of the checkpoint there. Uh, <laughs> I, I realised as I was like turning into that corner that uh, as I was trying to stay in ghost mode because I, I, I didn't want to uh, yeah go out of the, out of the ghost mode when we were going to be hitting an awkward place. But I guess a little bit of desync was going on there. Uh, and me trying to keep it in ghost mode actually ended up pushing Chris out of the checkpoint. So if that is the case, my bad on that. Uh, oh, not really a big jump in this uh, in this truck, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to be barreling down here. We're going to end up falling into line behind Blake. Don't know how fast this section is in a D-class. Ford. Oh, don't want this guy having a go at the inside there. Blakey's going to get unlucky. And now we're four wide. Not quite. <laughs> That's too many trucks. Too many trucks in a very, very small amount of space. Ugh. We're still three wide. This is going to make up all those positions. We've still got a half decent run here uh, onto the back straight. Oh, still uh, stuck side by side here. Uh, yes, I can do 
silly noises as well. No one's going to want to yield. Are we going to be able to make this one work? We are just in. Pega's going to maybe hold that on the outside too. Uh, it's side by side. Ewan is the one building the gap at the moment. Impeg is going to have a look to the inside. I think you're going to struggle to make that one work through this next corner, though. Uh, that is the only downside with that. <laughs> We're going to go side by side through here again. Sure, we'll make that one kind of work. Impeg is going to be on the outside for the next corner, although might have the drive, might be clear by the time we get down here. No, we're still there. Still got the nose alongside. I'm going earlier on the brakes here because I know this corner here is tricky. Uh, oh, Megas just held on to that one. We're still side by side. Still not finished. I mean, we're actually catching Hyper while we're doing this. Uh, I think Impega might get it done here, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to quite hold that one. I'm not sure quite what I want to be doing with my gears. I'm sure I'm not doing it right, whatever I'm supposed to, whatever gear I should be in. I feel like I've not quite got the right idea. However, uh, regardless, we're still making some lap speed. Uh, okay. Let's sit and follow in Pega and hope that we can catch Ewan and Hyper. We might not win the race, but we might be able to get a second if we follow in Pega kind of up through the field here. Uh, now, get this good run, but we might have a really good run here if I don't do anything dumb. But clear of Gliska. Uh, seventh gear is working there. We've actually got a great little run. We're going to be able to be cheeky here. Can we pass Impega, though? Is this battle going to cost us a chance at catching Ewan? And this is where Impega found themselves last time on me. I think we might be better off. Uh, let's not go and push. The reason why I don't want to go and force the point here is... I'm much better off trying to get the pass here. Uh, we'll get the exit on this corner, which is where I want to be, because now we can put the nose alongside in Pega. We can hopefully make it awkward, although we get a little bit squeezed through all of that. Okay, then we did a little bit of the squeeze. The problem is we now let Gliska catch up, because we've been fighting each other. We've been in all sorts of different lines. I mean, this is all helping Ewan. Uh, we're going early on the brakes, because I know how much of a pain in the ass this corner is front end just doesn't want to turn because of course the tyres are not quite right. Glisco with a wonderful little cutback there is going to get alongside but you struggle to get off that corner on that line. I did last time around as well when I was battling in Pega you just seem to not be able to get the drive for some reason. Now we're all getting stacked up behind Hyper uh, which is what Ewan wants to see Ewan doesn't want to see me in Pega Glisco released from this uh, <laughs> manic battle is the black truck going to have a look around the inside here. I mean, Blakey's actually caught up as well as we're fighting. I'm just trying to get my vehicle slowed through this section. And Pega is now up into second place. This is carrying a lot of speed on the way into the corner, so I'm busy focusing on trying to get my truck out of these corners well, uh, which we are still relatively... Ewan's had a bad exit there. We've got to get past Hyper quickly. If we want any chance at a win or a second place, we cannot stay behind the purple truck for very long. Uh, come on, carry speed into turn one if we can. And of course, we don't want to be losing any positions either, if that's at all possible. Uh, but it's di it's difficult when you you know when you're battling, you lose a lot of time. Uh, so yeah, we're going to try and not go too fast on the way in here. Hyper has carried a lot of speed on the way in there. You're going to be vulnerable on the exit. Lisk is right behind us, uh, but we'll probably not get much of an exit. We've got a great exit there. I will take that. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> we are going to pass Hyper, and in fact, Hyper might be vulnerable to Gliska at this point as well. Impega is side by side with you. I mean, this is wonderful racing in these trucks. Uh, Impega is to the lead of the race. We're going to try... Ewan's going to go for that cutback. He's annoyingly going to get right in the way of us. Uh, we're not going to be able to uh, do much there. Can I get the speed on the exit here to sneak a pass on Ewan's vehicle? I cannot. Got to watch out we don't get past uh, by Agliska either. We're actually doing the Morse code on the bumper of Ewan's truck there. Uh, Ewan's lead didn't last long once we did get clear of Hyper. Uh, where are we going to find a pass? Where are we going to make something stick? Again, I've got to do this quick. The longer we leave this, the bigger chance Gliska has of finding a way past me. See, I'm much earlier on the brakes into here than some of the other trucks, but it means I can get a better line and we can get to the inside down this part. I didn't really want to as much here, we were kind of a little bit uh, assisted by Gliska in the braking zone, previous corner. Again, although that time there, that one there was helpful. That bump was helpful, it just gave us a little bit of a bump out of the corner. It just gave us a little bit more acceleration. Let's not squeeze you into the tree. Uh, 
think we're going to get this one done. Not quite as clean as I would have liked, but it has worked. We've got one lap to try and chase down an impact. I don't think we're going to have the pace to do that. Will you and hold on to a podium? Uh, it turns out truck racing is as wonderfully mad as I would have hoped it would be. Uh, we've carried speed in all sorts of places through there. Actually, that was quite a good line through that one. <laughs> That's worked for me very nicely indeed. In fact, we've got massive speed in this section. Come on. Could we do a surprise last lap? I mean, we're, we have had huge momentum through that section. I've definitely got that, that bit of the circuit down. Uh, could we give a surprise to Impega at some point around the lap? I don't think so. We've both got massive understeer. We're both pushing too hard. That might actually cost me a bunch of time because uh, I was finding luck in seventh gear in these acceleration zones, so I left it there, but too much understeer dropped us wide. Yeah, all of, all of my time made up through the first sort of couple of corners has fallen apart, and Glisk is now under uh, putting pressure on Ewan for that third position. We're not gonna, unless unless Impego makes a big mistake, I don't think we're going to have any more opportunities. We beamsed it up at the critical corner. Um, we, I mean, we both drove in way too hard on that lap. Just I did it a little bit worse, essentially, than Impego did through there. Uh, Ewan is holding on to third. I can't look back. I'm trying to make sure I get this this sequence of corners right. We had a slightly longer race than I intended in some ways. Uh, I mean, these are not particularly quick vehicles around this track, but it has been a really, really good race. And Pega is going to win. Not bad coming from the back of the field in that one either. Pega will win. We will take a second place. Yeah, I was slightly annoyed at myself after a really good start to the lap. We couldn't finish it off. But, yeah, that was good fun. It, again, once more turns out the silly vehicles make for wonderful, wonderful racing as we fought our way. Uh, yeah, I mean, lap times were very, very close. Um... Blakey was down to a 39.6, Glisk was at a 40.0, me and Peg within a couple of tenths of each other. Even even Chris down in 11th was at a 39.5. Uh, so, yeah. Turns out the F450 makes for a really good racing vehicle, but it is going to get a little bit madder now. Now, racing the normal trucks was plenty exciting, but what happens if we go a little bit crazy? As you can see, these are nearly the top of S1 class. The reason? Well, they have the Funko engine, which means 1,750 horsepower. They're also on racing slicks. I mean, they're as light as they can go, which is still about £6,000. They're not exactly lightweight, but this is your race spec F450, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to be curious to see how this pans out. They're very quick. Accelerating. I say very quick. You have this much power, it's going to be fast accelerating. It's not exactly, you know, the, the quickest car in the game, but it's still impressive for a truck this size. And how the racing is actually going to pan out, I'm not 100% sure. I'm actually a little bit too careful through there. Um, there we go. Well, I think my, my general driving style is also, to be fair, a little bit of a case of... Uh, early on the brakes, sort of slow into a corner and fast out of the corner, especially oh, at the start of this when I'm not really sure how, I don't know where we're going to have to brake with this car, truck, whatever you want to call it, so we are being a little bit, perhaps being a little too cautious at the start of this race. Slick tyres do give you a lot of grip, even in something of this size. Uh, oh, Peg is going to get hung out wide through all of that, I'm in all sorts of wrong gears. Uh, they go through the gears a lot quicker now, of course. Uh, than you did with the diesel. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of lockups going on there, mine included. Did not get that right, not even close. Uh, <laughs> but we got to win, really lose too much time. Thankfully, I think everyone was struggling a little bit. Uh, that quarter is much more of a quarter in these than a lot of vehicles we've driven uh, around this circuit. Gliska's battling with Chris back there. Oh, okay. Well, we use Danger Man as a break. Actually, Danger Man was slowed down nicely through there. Uh, we did just about get it stopped. Gliska, though, did a better job of getting it through that corner than I did. Uh, I had the wheels locked again, trying to get through turn one there. Oh, off towards some signposts we head. I'm again going to be a little early on the brakes. Chris was not. Uh, I had to be a little early on the brakes because there were so many vehicles there. Uh, bloody hell. Uh, we've been lent on all the way through. The thing with the slick tyres and the all-wheel drive in this is it's got a lot of traction, but it does start spinning. It does uh, take a little while to find that grip again. Uh, so, yeah, if you kind of, if you, if you spin the wheels up a little bit, it just wants to keep spinning. Oh, 
I still don't know where to break there. No one does, apparently. We're all out into the wall. Everyone behind was as well. Gotta break way earlier than you think down that section. Sure, he's Pega was just like the panic and, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna grab the handbrake and, and try and do something at that bit. Ewan is leading the way. I can just about see the gold machine out in front. I've really struggled getting the braking right down here. Uh, Longbow only just got the checkpoint there as they're battling three and four wide through a very small bit of tarmac and it's about to get busier as well as me and Chris are going to join in the fun. I think there's that Hyper and Blakey battling over second. Okay, Chris has fallen back a little bit. So I've been quite early on the brakes here, but I have at least been keeping it under control in the braking zone there. Uh, although I've, yeah, I haven't got that corner there right, and I'm still too early on the brakes. Around here, not so bad. It's the next corner that's caught out so many trucks. Uh, I think it's because they're just going so quickly. We're almost not used to having to deal with it. There's many a cutback going on up ahead as they're three wide towards the most dangerous corner on the track. I'm early on the brakes. Everyone is a little bit more cautious this time around. We've got a great run on the exit there. Uh, where is Chris? Too far back to try anything. Uh, I don't know where we're going to be breaking down here. Uh, we don't want to be on that wide line. I'm trying to get underneath the truck ahead, run across the start-finish line. Uh, Danger Man is going to put us all the way to the inside wall. But, I mean, that was, that was fair. There was space for my truck. Um, but it was I was going to have to be a little brave with my uh, positioning, which, you know, we went for it. Didn't quite work out in the end for me, but that's fine. I'm going to carry a load of speed up here, but I don't really want to have a big dive to the inside. Uh, what I'd rather do is actually try and get the exit here, which is what we are about to do if we get it. Get the power down in fourth, we do. We'll take seventh position away from Danger Man. Chris must have missed a checkpoint somewhere. Danger Man's going to have a huge dive, locks it all up. You can kind of use the banking there, though, to get the truck off the corner, which Danger Man does. We're going to have a look to the inside. I mean, I wanted to get the checkpoint through that one. Now we are going to be on the brakes. We go. Uh, Danger Man's going to cut underneath. Third gear was not where we wanted it. Fourth was the gear to be in. I do not want to take that tight line through this final corner. I would rather lose a little bit of speed and fall into line. Uh, <laughs> and push the blue truck through the final turn. And Peg has fallen back to sixth again. There's still a big battle going on for second. Massive battle going on for fourth. That uh, I mean, if we stop fighting each other, we might end up joining in the big battle for fourth. I don't know how we got such a good drive through there. We're basically on the dirt and we're on slick tyres. The slicks are not going to like that. Somehow got a good... How I got a good run out of there, I really shouldn't have done. Not that it's going to matter, though, because we're on the wrong side for here, although we might still be able to make something stick. Danger Man's struggling for grip. We struggle a little bit for grip. Uh, no, fifth gear. I tried to short shift, and that didn't work. I figured I've got enough power and torque to maybe make that short shift work, but it didn't. Uh, use the banking through there. Get the vehicle turned. We're well clear of ninth position. I don't think I'm going to have any more time unless... There is a big problem for vehicles up ahead. I mean, there is some problems for them. Uh, we are going to absolutely barrel our way out of this final turn. Danger Man's aware of that as well. Truck moved across to cover isn't going to be enough. And unless I can get on the power super early, I mean, we do, but it's not going to be enough. <laughs> ah, it's a good, that was a really good battle. Yeah, we just couldn't quite get the overtakes that we needed to. Um, we swapped positions, pushed as much as we could. It's a manic, manic battle in all of that one. Ewan will take victory. Got to the front, stayed out of trouble. That important, that important stuff. Uh, Gliska got second in the end ahead of Blakey and Hyper. They must have slowed each other down at the end there. Uh, well done, Gliska, for sneaking it up to second. Oh, that was... Uh, that was an interesting experience, to say the least. They're mad, mad trucks, that's for sure. I mean, very understeery, but... Still good fun to race. So, for the final race, we have come to the Lookout Circuit. I quite Again, this is another interesting track. I quite like this one. Um, will be a bit of a difficult one with the Super Duty. Uh, it's kind of one straight and a lot of cornering, which isn't the easiest for the big truck. Uh, overtaking well, this is quite a twisty section towards the end of the lap as well, which, I mean, overtaking opportunities there will be. Uh, how clean said overtaking opportunities is going to be, I don't know. I think there's going to be some paint swapping, funnily enough, along the way. Uh, but we're, we're going to do what we can. We're very much in the mid-pack of this one, which should be uh, entertaining. Uh, uh, we're going to get a terrible start. I kind of went for some short shifting along the way. Um, 
friend. I don't know whether that works or not. I think someone may have missed a checkpoint, possibly. Danger Man is smoking the tyres through there. Uh, I'm going for, again, my kind of try and get a good exit strategy. Oh, Christ, that's a pop out of ghost mode and a half right there. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's going to get busy. Oh, and who is going to get stopped for this corner? Uh, I will, and one of the few that do, we're to the inside of Longbow. This is where it's going to get very, very fiddly for the big trucks. And these are some tight corners, and these are a lot... Well, we have got slick tyres. At the end of the day, that does help matters. Uh, we will pass the Longbow. For some reason, these things have got... So I put a race diff in this, expecting it to not be a problem, but the diff's still crap. I think that's, that's not the way to go, uh, I don't think. They're still spinning, which I think is why the wheel spin is such a... Oh, God, such a problem with these is that, yeah, the diff is not great in the build I've come up with here. I didn't realise quite how bad it was. Um, it's really seems like a build that you mess around with. I yeah, that'll do. Um, don't really realise until you're properly in a race what's so weird about something, for example. Uh, and Pega's got the breakaway going on at the front. I mean, not quite as close around here as we were. Oh, Hyper with a very big push. Uh, I apologise, Ewan. <laughs> Don't know where the hyper got a push from behind as well, to be honest. Difficult to know on that one. You won't know that uh, I got a push in all of that. And I don't know how much of a push other vehicles got going on there. Uh, oh, that was so close to missing the checkpoint. Okay, let's not cut it that fine. Let's, let's try and avoid cutting it that fine in future. Uh, there's some lock-ups and some smoke pouring off of a longbow. Uh, and I almost did a very similar thing into that corner. Come on, get the power down. Although, I say get the power down, this is kind of just this never-ending corner. It's great fun in handling cars. In your racing truck, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, it was just a kiss on the wall that time. It, almost, almost right on the brakes. And you these things are, you know, these things are quick. You've got to bear in mind, when we're racing them standard, okay, the tyres are rubbish and everything, but they're only ever really doing about 80 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour, whereas now we're, you know, seriously shifting in this. That is a lot of truck. Yes, it's got a lot big engine. It's a lot of truck to be going at 160 miles an hour into turn one. Not at all designed with sportiness in mind. Um, you know, designed with being a truck in mind, not with how to deal with 160 mile an hour through the chassis. And all that, uh, we're pulling away from Ewan. Uh, Longbow's had a little bit of a better turn one than I have actually in this lap around. We were catching a little bit, but uh, that gap's gone back out again, I think. Oh, don't lock the brakes. It's so easy to do into that corner. Uh, the, it's because you're kind of braking, certainly in this vehicle this fast, you're kind of braking as you're turning almost. And it's the, the Lockups are way more sensitive in this than in previous Horizon games. And, yeah, that is the sort of corner that's really going to catch you out. Uh, we've had a not-so-bad end to the lap. We've, anytime we've lost a long way, we've kind of made back up again. The gap is just staying the way it is. I'm trying to run it in with some speed into the first corner. That's all gone a little bit wrong for me anyway. Uh, make sure we at least get the checkpoint. I mean, Pegas... The gap's kind of just remaining the same between Impega, Longbow and me. It's not really moved a huge amount through all of this. Like we blast our way towards these next couple of corners. Definitely not going to be close enough to have a look. Uh, wait until we straighten the truck out a little bit. Not enough to make up some time. Smoke pouring off of Impega through there. Uh, not sure whether that was understeer or oversteer smoke at that point. Um, Longbow is taking the uh, grass cutting line a little bit. Not quite what you want. Uh, oh, almost missed the checkpoint through there. <laughs> We've got a great run, but it's not quite going to be enough. We had a great run on the final lap there. Uh, yeah, Longbow just got a little, dove a little too far to the inside on that final corner. Almost made a mess of it. Almost. Not quite, though. We all crossed the line in third place in all of that. Uh, what were the lap times? Uh, we do get fastest lap only just, though. Blakey and Hyper. Uh, also down into the 51 too, so we're very close in terms of lap times in all that. As I said, the, the gaps weren't really changing very much in that one. Danger Man got fourth ahead of Gleska. You would end up slipping down to sixth place in all of that. Yeah, they were pretty... I mean, standard-wise, there was some fantastic racing. Yeah, the diff is a little bit weird. Oddly, I, I don't know why I expected the race diff to work, funnily enough. Um, they, I mean, 
for what they are, are actually pretty good. All things considered, they could be a lot worse to uh, to go racing with. It's a fun addition. I always like having more options, more wacky vehicles, more different vehicles when it comes to a Horizon game, and this is definitely that. Um, silly massive pickup truck that we can put crazy engines in. That is a good thing. Um, so there we go. That <laughs> is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.